committed, passionate, exceptional, precious, generous. The club's grown exponentially in the last three years. We've had tremendous partnerships with our school districts, and these partnerships have allowed us to expand our services, reach more children, um, develop new programs and new services. We've also had opportunities to go into communities where there haven't been youth services and um, open up new doors of opportunity out there as well. Well, we know that Kern County is, is a giving community to begin with, and we've had donors on, on all different levels giving to the club, everything from in-kind gifts to substantial amounts of, of money. And I'll tell you, every, every amount is, is a fortune to our Boys and Girls Club. And, and we treasure every donor as if, they, as if they've given us you know, everything they possibly can. We've been able to improve our facilities, everything from a new roof to new vehicles. We've been able to um, expand our program services and get into robot building and new computers and performing arts. Um, we've been able to, to develop a community garden uh, through donations and community investment and, and community partners. So we've been very fortunate that uh, the dollars that, that are given to the Boys and Girls Club are going directly into to direct services for the kids. If there were no Boys and Girls Club, it seems to me that would leave a huge vacuum in our community. Where would the children go after school? Where would they get assistance on doing their homework? Where would they be able to get teaching on arts and computers and science and all the other programs that the club offers? Where would they get those educational opportunities? Where would they get to have role models like those provided by the staff here at the club? To me, without the Boys and Girls Clubs of Kern County, this community would be sorely lacking in the after-school opportunities for our local children. As the incoming board uh, president, I, I think that there's a, a lot of possibilities out there that I think that are left to be uncovered. I mean, you've got, you know, you hear the numbers of 5,000 kids a day. 52 sites, but I think ultimately it's not the 5,000 kids that I'm worried about. It's the 5,000 in one. Is that last kid not as worthy, worthy as the first kid? The inspiration that you see in these kids' eyes through the staff uh, interactions is priceless. I think that giving to an organization to where if, you know, a lot of organizations say, come on down and see what we do. You can, you know, visit the site and see how productive we are. Well, that's great. But honestly, if you come down to the club, um, you're going to see the, the staff interacting with the kids on a first name basis. You're going to see these kids eyes blossom when they succeed in something that, uh, you know, success doesn't come easy for them. Uh, or there isn't somebody at home saying, hey, so and so great job. Or can you believe you just pulled that off? or the first time you hit a baseball, or the first time you, you build a robot, or the first time you make something in art class, the first time you find a hidden talent that you weren't aware of, something that you can be proud of, that's the impact that drives me to do what I do. That's the impact that makes, that makes me tear up a little bit. Uh, that's what I get excited about.